In the epidermis, immunohistochemistry is an efficient means of localizing specific proteins to their expression compartment. In this video, we demonstrate a reliable method for immunolocalization of protein in the epidermis, which we use routinely in our laboratory. Hi, I'm Tammy from Dr. Turkson's laboratory here in the Loeb Building of the Ottawa Health Research Institute in the Chronic Disease Program. Today we're going to show you a procedure for immunohistochemistry using fluorescent antibodies on paraffin-embedded tissue sections of mouse epidermis. In our lab, we've optimized protocols for immunolocalizing epidermal differentiation markers using Bowen's fixed tissue. As part of optimization, we keep the skin flat by laying it out on paper towel before fixing. This procedure involves dissection of the epidermis, fixation, dehydration, paraffin embedding and section cutting, de-waxing, rehydration, antigen unmasking, antibody labeling, and finally mounting and visualization with epifluorescence. So, let's get started. When using neonatal mice, there's no need to shave the back skin. However, when you have older mice that have fur, you need to shave the back skin away so that it doesn't get in the way of cutting the sections. When you're doing your dissection, you want to be very careful not to put your forceps in the areas of the skin that you want to use for your assay. So what we do is we just put the forceps around the edge of where we're going to cut, and then you lift very carefully, cut the epidermis, remembering not to touch the area that you want to use for your experiment. When we're fixing the skin, we don't want the skin to roll up and be in a tube. We want it to be nice and flat. So what we do in order to help that is we lay the skin on a paper towel so that it stays flat while it's being fixed. So now that we have the skin nice and flat on the paper towel, what we do is we cut off the edges, or we trim them, in order to remove the parts that we may have damaged with the forceps. And then you cut the skin into very small pieces, about two millimeter by two millimeter, now the tissue is going to be fixed. After cutting the skin into manageable pieces, you immerse it in the Bruin solution, cap the tubes, wrap the tubes with parafilm, and put them on a rocker for an overnight incubation. It's important to incubate in the Bowen solution only 16 to 18 hours. Shorter or longer fixation periods will damage your tissue. Once the incubation is over, you rinse your tissue with PBS. And then through a series of ethanol washes using 30%, 50%, and 70% alcohol. You can see that the Bowen's is yellow in color and that as you do the washes, as the Bowen's is diluted out, the color of the wash becomes less and less yellow. You wash two times 30 minutes each time. Following the last wash in ethanol, samples are placed in a fresh 70% ethanol and may be stored at four degrees Celsius until further processing. A few advantages of paraffin embedding over using frozen tissues is that tissue integrity is superior and samples can be stored for long periods of time. In general, core facilities generate more reproducible results. However, if you have the facility and a dedicated operator who has the expertise, sections can be cut in-house. Learning to cut good sections is rather an art form 
Therefore, we use a core facility.